pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Gators, and welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Taylor. And I'm Bethany. Today is Tuesday, January 31st, and the national holiday is Backwards Day. We have several sports announcements for you today. Our first one is that there's a girls' basketball district's home game today at 6 p.m. Also, there is a girls' soccer region semifinals today at 7 p.m. Girls' weightlifting finals is Thursday at Bellevue. Also, there is a concert band practice today at 3 p.m. On February 10th, there will be a pep rally to celebrate our winter sports. Our theme is to share the love and the dress-up days are as follows. Monday the 6th is Wear Hearts, Tuesday the 7th is Palantine Bromance and Twins Day. Wednesday the 8th is Famous Couples, Thursday the 9th is Formal slash Dress-Up Day, and Friday the 10th is Class Colors. Freshmen are red, sophomores are white, juniors are purple, and seniors are pink. Marchman Technical College has programs that are free for high school students. A representative will be at Land O'Lakes High School on Friday, Feb I'm sorry, on February 6th during lunches to share information about what's available. If you're in 10th through 12th grade and want to attend, you must sign up in advance in guidance. Now for a short horoscope of the week. To all of you Aries out there, your week is about to get interesting. You could feel pulled in different directions by various interests, your friends, or certain responsibilities you're dealing with. A decision made this weekend could leave you feeling more at ease. Sounds very interesting. Well, now to a segment about Kayla Pulse, the Vice President of the Land Lakes FFA. Kayla Pulse is a senior here at Land Lakes and is the Vice President of our FFA chapter. She is applying to be a state FFA officer and we got the chance to talk to her and see what the experience is going to be like and what pushed her to make this decision. When did you become involved in FFA? Um, I became involved in FFA my freshman year and I became really active my sophomore year. I've actually shown for three years straight now. What is your favorite part about FFA? My favorite part about FFA is definitely the different camps that we get to go to. We get to meet a lot of different people from around the state and just make new friends that we normally wouldn't get to meet. What motivated you to want to become a state officer? Um, the motivation that pushed me is definitely the mission work that they do. They go out of the country, mostly to South Africa, and they help like needy villages with agriculture and just providing food that they wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And they advocate for different parts of ag agriculture that's not just meat and crop production. They do other things like just the business side of it. Good luck, Kayla. We know you'll represent Lando well. Mr. Schmitz and, a, and some Lando Lake students got involved in the service project called Stop Hunger Now. Let's take a deeper look. Mr. Schmitz is an economics teacher here at Lando. He organized Stop Hunger Now, and we got a chance to interview him. On Saturday the 21st, the Lando Lake students gave up their Saturday and worked hard for hours. Students packaged food that will be sent to Haiti. Here's what Mr. Schmitz had to say. Stop Hunger Now is a charitable organization. They work with local churches to bag and pack meals that are shipped to various parts of the world that have either experienced disasters or just have very low socioeconomic uh, populations. So our church, we were packing meals that were intended for Haiti. So in the next few weeks, all the bags that we packed will arrive just outside the capital, Port-au-Prince. Um, there's a handful of neighborhoods that there's already a distribution set up. So as soon as the meals show up, they get passed out and thousands, literally thousands of people will, will have meals because of what will be packed. Yeah. So as a teacher here, you know, I, I see the cliques, I see, you know, the different social groups and whatnot. And as kids started showing up and walking through those doors, I could tell instantly we had various kids from various different groups and to see them come together and work and have fun together, you know, all those walls just kind of came down for a little while because everybody was there for the same purpose. It, it, it was awesome. It was, I had so much fun just, I kind of stopped doing my job for a little while because I just started walking around just watching because it was, it, it was awesome. Good. We are always happy to see Gators spending their time helping others. That's it for today, Gators. Tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.
good joke.